Hello guys, it's Chumass on here. Today, I am back with another Bakutech review. It's been a little while, but I am back. I think I'm going to be trying to finish up my Bakutech reviews. I should be getting some more stuff soon, hopefully, so we can kind of continue them. But as far as the remaining things I have left, I don't really have many. Uh, also, this is a review on the Griff deck. I was actually kind of baffled when I realized I hadn't made a review on this deck, despite having it for four and a half years almost. It was actually one of the first decks I got when I was first getting back into Bakker Tech, so I'm surprised I never actually reviewed it, but yeah, let's just get into this. It's already been 37 seconds. Um, first up here, we have um, Goon Icarus. Goon Icarus is an Aquas Bakugan. Now, while most decks have the main Bakugan and then two extras, this deck is weird that it has two main Bakugan and one extra. This is the extra Bakugan that's just kind of there. And it actually is kind of cool. Here's its first mode. This is its more normal one. It does have a manual part right here in the uh, horn kind of thing. So yeah. It has this bird-like appearance. And it's actually pretty solid. It has cross pieces on the arms here uh, by the wings. So that's neat. But also it's a second mode. Uh, first, let me show you the G power, actually. That is 600 and 30 G's. Oh, but it actually has a second mode. You flip this switch back here. It transforms into this. It has kind of a Spartan-like appearance. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool looking. I like this mode as well. I find the other mode better for competitive, but this mode is cool looking. And then we'll just kind of fold it back into its previous mode. This mode's actually really good. Like, not really good, but like, it's it's good. Um, I think it's actually pretty solid. It's weird how the, the random Bakugan usually aren't that great, but this one's actually nice. Um, so yeah. Next up, we're going to get into Ogre Leonis, a very powerful, I'd even say the most powerful Chaos Bakugan in Baku Tech. Looking really, really cool. So let's open this guy up. So there he is. Um, manual parts, these feet can like move outwards. Um, he has 700 G's as well, if I could find the G power anyway. It's, there it is, it's, it's on the like underside here. Which, the light, there it is, 700. My camera is focused specifically right now, so I don't want to move it closer and refocus everything. Um, yeah, this guy... It's actually pretty good, because it has a pretty good, like, it occupies a pretty good amount of the card, like, not the whole thing, but from around center card, you can get, like, this much, which, actually, it's not quite center, there we go. It, it's pretty good, nothing, um, like, outstanding, but it, it covers a pretty good amount of ground. Defensively, uh, pretty strong, not the best for, like, control or technique, but attack-wise, does have some metal pieces, does have the top part up here, and back here. Um, those are, of course, like I said, metal, and, um, 36 millimeter Bakugan are always typically a little bit stronger than the other ones, so, like, it does have pretty good stuff going on here. Um, my cat is making noises, hopefully that didn't pick up on camera, but, um, yeah. Uh, this thing, pretty good, I'd say. Um, I actually think this is a really, really good Bakugan, and like I said, for house Brawlers, this is probably the best house Bakugan. Um... Because it's defense and, and like, it occupies a good amount of the cards. Defense is great. And again, it can t attack as well. Uh, pretty well. Now, next up, well, the last box here is Lashao Falco. Lashao Falco is an interesting Bakugan. Um, I don't find this thing particularly amazing for anything, but it's not really bad at anything. It's kind of a very balanced Bakugan, I guess you could say. Um, has pretty good control related things, so I will give it that. Opens up like this. Um, looks pretty good overall. Also, 700 G's in uh, under there anyway. Has some manual parts, like these wings flip out from underneath. Um, and yeah, also these little parts on the arms there. Yeah. So it does occupy a pretty good amount of the card horizontally, but like it's kind of higher up. Uh, the tail is back there, does cover some ground. Uh, yeah, like I said, this Bakken isn't particularly amazing anything, but it's not 
bad at anything, plus its control is pretty good. Um, I actually think it's like a really good Bakugan for control and technique stuff. Like, I've had a lot of good times with this. Like, I'm really trying to stress that. Like, control-wise, this is probably one of the best Bakugan out there. Really, really good Ventus Bakugan, too. And there are very few Ventus Bakugan out there. Let me tell you, there's only six. I guess technically seven with the Garyu from the uh, God 3 set. So yeah, overall, I would say this deck is like a 9 out of 10. That might sound kind of high, but here's the thing. There isn't really a bad Bakugan here. Like, there, there just isn't. Uh, nothing here is bad. Like, nothing here is particularly, like, outstandingly just godlike. Like, Gunikurus, it's a pretty good Bakugan, but not the best. Overlyonis is really good for defense, but again, I think it is not the 100% best. Same goes for Blashaw Falco. It's, I mean, not defensively, but it's pretty good, but not the best. Has a really good control uh, technique, though. But for their respective attributes, they are probably the best of their attributes, I would say. Um... That's why I think this deck is a 9 out of 10. It just has a lot of good stuff for attributes that aren't represented amazingly. Uh, actually, Ogre Lanos is the only 36mm Bakugan in Chaos as well, so there is that. Um, so again, like for the respect of attributes, yeah, it's great. Also, Gunicris is actually a really good Bakugan as well. Um, personal general of the set, I'm going to have to say it's a 10 out of 10. I really like this uh, deck a lot. It has a lot of cool stuff in it. But yeah. Honestly, I know box deck is like really expensive now, but if you can get your hands on a deck, I'd honestly say this or the Sanzu deck are probably your best decks to go with. Uh, I honestly recommend this one more because you do get two Bind Bakugan, which are pretty good, and uh, Goon Icarus is also really nice. Uh, but I will say the Sanzu deck is better with Sanzu Hollowbows being, in my opinion, the best Baku deck. Again, that, that is my opinion. That might be up to debate. But your other two background in there aren't the 100% like best. They're, they're solid though, especially Ken Panzer. But I think that might be something you might want to just buy a single background. You might just want to buy Sansa Hollowbows on its own. I'd say if for a whole deck, this is probably the best one out there, at least in my opinion. Because, like I said, two buying background that are both pretty good, and then the pack and random background actually kind of stands on its own. I don't really view this deck as two bind bakugan plus this extra i kind of view them all three as like really good uh, i don't know maybe that's just me but yeah i think this deck's just a really really good one i i kind of i think i'm repeating myself at this point i'm just kind of running in circles so with that said hopefully i do get some more uh, reviews up very very shortly uh, i think i'm saying the word very a little bit too often but yeah anyways that's all for this video so thanks for watching and bye, -bye.